Hi, this is Axeman, and welcome to this lesson on the uh, Cat Stevens songs Wild World. If you want the uh, if you want to see the lyrics and the chords, click on the button right below the video screen that says Show More, and it'll show you a link to a site that has the words. Okay, I'm going to play this song, and then I'm going to explain to you exactly what I did on the ukulele. Then I'm going to play it again using backup band tracks because I find sometimes it's more fun to practice with the whole band. So, hope you enjoy. Here we go. in the key of C. Little C scale here. First chord is A minor. In case you don't know that, here's what it looks like. And here's the root. Flat three, five, one. Okay. Next chord is D. Have the the fifth, the root, the third, fifth. If you don't know what those numbers mean, uh, there's lots of sites with the basic music theory terminology, but I'll cover that at a later date. Here we go. The G chord is next. Root five, root three. I'll show you the fingering in a second. Then the C chord. I think everybody knows this one, just the uh, finger on the third fret, first string. And we got the fifth, the root, the third, the fifth. F chord. 
And the third, the fifth, the root, third again. And D minor chord. And the five, the root, the flat three, and the five. And the last chord, E. This one, I oh, don't have the number here, but this, this is the second fret. This is the fourth fret. Okay. Now, the song starts on an A minor, then D, and the A minor I'm doing with my second finger. You can use the first if you want, but right there. The D chord, I just lay that finger over and cover the fourth, third, and second strings, leaving the first string open. To do that, you bend the knuckle backwards right there. Then the G chord. Now I do that with two fingers. First finger is barring the first three strings at the second fret. Second finger is playing the th second string at the third fret. And the fourth string's open. I like that instead of the three finger method because it only takes two fingers and I have all these other fingers left to do other melodic things. And then the C chord. F chord. Using the first finger and the second finger. Now I find sometimes it's a, actually a good idea to leave the first finger out of it and use the second and third. So that way when you play that same shape further up the neck, you're already ready to bar it because your first, fin first finger is free, see? F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, F, E flat, so on. Anyway, the F chord. Now to get a D minor from F, all you do is add the second fret on the third string. Now you can do that using three fingers like that, or if you're doing these two, you can add the little finger there. Or, the way I do it, I just double stop it. I use one finger to cover two strings there. So you can do that with that one. If your finger's not fat enough, then use two. Some people, their fingers are too fat to almost, almost <laughs> just do one, so two is easy. Okay, but anyway. After that, it goes to E. Now the E, I use the same method I did with the D for putting one finger on the fourth, third, and second strings and bending it backwards at the knuckle. I'm using my third finger for this one, so it's not hitting the first string. Now the first string, the note that sounds is, is there at the second fret, but I'm barring all three there just because I like to kind of use that as my default position for my finger. Now after the E there's a little lick. And that's the G sharp, which is the fourth fret on the second string. And then you just put your little finger on the fifth fret of the second string for the A note. And then the note that's already there on the first string, the B note. So it sounds like this. Uh, flub, flub, here we go. You get the point. Uh, second time through, when it gets to the E, it's going to do something different to get us to the chorus. It's going to go E, G. So the way that works, so what we did, we hit E, and I've got the full G chord. fifth fret third string with your little finger 
and then strum the rest of the chord. Actually, then the fourth fret on the third string. Then the second fret, which is already covered by that G bar there. And then we go to the C for the chorus. So. the C scale descending from this top C note. And then we actually hit that G. Or this G, F, C. And then it does this lick, which is G, A, C, or the notes G, G. there to start the next chord. The scale again. Then it goes back to the uh, verse by going D minor E. That's all there is to it. Take a little bit of practice but but it's very fun to play those scales. And all right, that's all the explaining. Now I'm going to play it with the backup band. For those of you who enjoy playing with the band, here we go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it on volume two. Stop right now and uh, just load up volume two, and here we'll do it, okay?